So today, we're going to replace the battery in a Genesis cartridge. Now, unlike the master system, you need a large game bit. You know, a large game bit to get the Genesis games open. Master system, you just needed a regular screwdriver, but... Genesis was popular enough, they uh, actually wanted to secure it. <laughs> so... Alright. Lift the back off. There we go. Get this screws out. Here's our board. All right. The top of the battery is positive. And the top of the battery is the one with the side with the writing on it. So if we look, our positive tab on this board might be different on each board. But on this board, it's going towards the rest of the circuitry. The negative is going towards the edge of the board. You always want to make note of that because not all boards are marked. So you got to pay attention or else uh, you might not be able to reliably put them back together. I've done that. So, all right. So we'll clean off our iron. Get our solder sucker ready. Just a just a touch of solder on the iron, help it transfer heat. Heat up the old solder and suck it up. Hmm. I think this yeah this battery is going to fall right out. That's what we like to have happen. All right, T heat up the old solder. There we go. And it dropped right out. Love it when that happens. Here's the old battery. Get rid of it. Here's a new battery. A new CR2032. Again, the top has the writing on it and the top is positive. Now we said that the positive is the side closest to the rest of the circuits. So we will put that, put this over, put the tabs, put the right tabs in the right holes. Shove it down a little bit. Oh, I don't think that's going to stay. Nope, it's not going to stay. Take a little bit of artist tape or masking tape, whatever you got. I don't recommend using scotch tape. Scotch tape might, uh, might melt with the heat. So, okay, positive. Where's the rest of the circuits? All right. Tape this down. Just, just to hold it in place while we work. All right, that'll work. Get it out of our way. Pins are going through the holes, good. Always clean off our iron. Before we start working, put a little solder on the iron. We're not soldering with that, with that solder, we're just using it to transfer heat. Okay, touch the pad and the pin at the same time. Apply some solder. Hold it for a second, maybe. I like to have the holes filled if you can. Not gonna fill. <laughs> I don't know. Well, you know what? If we take a look at it, the pin looks like it's covered in solder, even though I mean that was a pretty big hole and a pretty small pin. So I think it's fine. We'll find out later when we test it. All right, let's do the negative side. Let's touch touch the solder there. All right. There we go. That looks pretty good, I think. All right, easy. Take 
the tape off. No point in having it in there. And the battery doesn't move or anything, so it's on there good. Take the top of our case. These pins only allow the game to go in one way. You can't put it in backwards. It won't, it won't fit. So if it's not fitting, let's try flipping it over. Back on. Our security screws and our large game bit. Tighten it down. All right. Well done. Let's give it a test. All right. For start. Start a new game. Samurai. I don't care. Skip this. Okay, come on. Okay. Okay, get out of here. Start, pocket secretary. Save, save game, game one. Game saved. Excellent, all right. Turn it off. Turn it on again. I love this game. Sega. Come on. Okay. Gotta wait for the start. Load game. Game one. Successful download. Same button to run in shadows. Cool. Excellent. And that worked. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out my battery replacement video for Genesis games. I have several videos on replacing batteries and other minor video game repairs. Check them out in the playlist I've linked to here. And if you like video game reviews, I do those too.